Okay, the objective of this lesson is to take your survey data, okay, and analyze it using these variables. This will allow you to um, accomplish more marks in learning outcome four by analyzing um, how demographics such as gender and age affect answers to questions. So the survey was on the topic of capital punishment from a student last year who, who wanted to study law and they used um, the strongly agree, disagree scale for the questions. So the questions are at the top here, okay, and you want to see what people of different demographics, ages and genders think about these questions, okay. So if you were to do this manually, counting it up and finding it, it would be quite a laborious process. So the digital solution to this is pivot tables, something you would have used last year in your financial literacy module, but this will refresh you, your mind on this. So the first thing you have to do is just highlight the table like this. So you've got everything and that includes the headings. There. So you've got your demographics from your survey um, and you've got the questions there. So once you've got that highlighted, you go to data and you click pivot table in Google Sheets. This will then give you a separate sheet down the bottom with the pivot table builder here. I prefer to build my pivot tables in rows, you can do them in columns, both work fine. So I'm going to analyze the first question. Now I'm not going to analyze these two because they're just demographic data at the moment. We're going to use them to filter the answers to the specifics we wanted to find out for our project. Okay, so this video will demonstrate this and then uh, your practice in the lesson will be to then do all five of these. That should then set you up nicely to be able to analyze your own. So we click on the question there, okay, and it will filter out all the different answers that it can see. So we've got those to start with there. And then once we go into values here, we just add the same question and it will work out immediately that 10 people said this, 33, 331 from the 77 answers that we achieved in our survey. So that's found that quite, quite neatly. The next thing to do then is just to highlight the answers. Notice I haven't picked up the column headings there. Just highlight up the answers to start with and copy them. Okay, control C on the Chromebooks if we're using those and then control V there. And then next then we want to go to type at the top there, that's all the answers there. Okay, so we've just copied that out. That'll stay static now because we're going to alter the answers in the pivot table. So when you click back in the pivot table, notice the editor opens up over here for you. Okay, we're going to filter this now. Okay, so we'll look at um, gender first. Okay, I'm going to click add and we're going to go to what is your gender. Now at the moment it says showing all items. So if we go in there, it knows that gender's got two different subgroups, male and female. So if I click the first one, so this is the answers for females, watch over in the left hand corner, it filters it down into those there. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm over here I'm going to write um, female, because that's what I've just found out, and in there I'm going to highlight the answers for what females give, and I'm going to go um, control C, okay, in there, and control V, paste those in. Got those answers nicely there. Click back in our uh, pivot table editor, go back down to the filter, okay. And click in the drop down list and then change it from female to male. And now we've got a um, an answer for male. So I'm going to hold that down. I'm going to control C, control V in there, and male in there. Just to make it a bit neater, just for the purposes of building tables, I'm just going to add some borders around them like that. Now what we want to do really is, is use um, percentages, okay? So if you remember, we, we need to know what our totals are to work out um, 
percentages of these because it's easier to compare percentages when you when you when you do that. Okay, so down here, okay, I'm going to add up those columns there. So underneath the bottom there, click on sum, and we'll add those up there. Push enter, we've got them. Done a lot of this. If we if we fill across from the bottom right hand corner, should be used to doing this sort of stuff now. You've got the totals there. Let's just add some orders around it so we can see see everything there. Now to work out percentages, so 10 out of 77 there um, answered. So to work out the percentages, again you do equals that divided by the answer there and it gives you a decimal answer and you can do percentages on that. Now if we do a fill down on this, if you remember from last year, see it says B9 divided by B13, fill down is going to go B10 divided by B14 where there is nothing. So we need to make that an absolute cell reference. So I'm clicking back in this part here, I'm going to go up into there and I'm going to do dollar in front of the B and dollar in front of that. You can also use F4 if you've got a keyboard with F4 on it when you click over those and push that. So now when I do this, fill down, it's going to give me the percentages that, that answered there. Okay, so I'm going to give it a title so I know what it is on that point there. And I'm going to again border that. So building this up quite, quite neatly there. And then I could do the same for um, female percentages. So if we go in here, I'm going to say equals that divided by that. I'm going to push F4 on the keyboard. Notice C13 on there. If you haven't got the function key, it's different keyboards you're using, you just have to type the dollars in for them. And again, up here, just pop that to a percentage, fill down. Uh, should always add up to 100%. And then I write the head in, so fem oops, female percentage there. Put some borders around it. I'm gonna, I know I'm doing the next column here, so do it separate around that way. And yes, I'm going to do equals that. Divided by map, I'm pushing F4 on the keyboard because the dollar signs on automatically. Push enter, then back up here we've got percentage, found the percentage there, and drag that down there. So we've now, based on one pivot table here, we've analyzed this um, answer with. Um, by gender. So if you wanted to do it by age, again, you could go back in here. We can remove that filter there. There we are, it's all back to the 77. If you wanted to do it by age, you could go add, what is your age? And we've now, now we can clear. And the 18 to 30s think that. We could copy and paste them down into there. Okay, so obviously none strongly agree, so that would be a zero. So you'd have to type that one in. And we can build them up bit by bit, working out the percentages. Looks like we've got a bit of a, a bias in the age that's answered here. Most people are 31 to 50 that are answered on that. We've got here 51 to 65 and so on. Okay, so that's how you would do that. This kind of analysis will allow you to gain, um, it's, it's a higher level uh, order skill to analyze by demographics, to look for patterns in your data to see if age or gender influences. You may have asked different questions such as um, uh, economic um, input into the household, such as how much people earn. You could have asked things like ethnicity, that, that sort of stuff. Okay, That's how statisticians would look at different demographics to do that. Uh, the next video will show you how to turn this into appropriate graphs and charts to gain you the highest amount of marks.